Welcome to Lisbon! We'll start the tour with the most important meal of the day, breakfast. We stayed at the Hilton Doubletree in Fontana Park and we were amazed by their breakfast selection. They offered fresh meats, dairy products, exotic fruit and traditional pastries and cakes. My favorite being the Portuguese tarts. Lisbon for a little bit and since we are tourists we're not used to go up and down the hills and we exhausted ourselves relatively quickly which is why stop two is a quick pit stop for a few minutes of shade and a good pint of beer. Personal tradition decides that when we see a dog sign we have to stop. If you know, you know. Using the freshly acquired energy, we visit Lisboa's iconic landmarks such as Cathedral de São Paulo, Carmo Convent and Santa Justa Lift. Between the convent and the elevator, there is a balcony which gives you great views of the city, which makes it a popular spot for photos. If you take the stairs, you will find an outdoor bar and DJ just below the convent. If you're in a hurry, head up the stairs to a small tapas bar right outside the lift and if you want a 180 degree view of the city, walk onto the lift. On our walk, we stumbled across a beautiful restaurant called Vicente by Carnalentejana and even though we weren't hungry, we had to stop for coffee. The stuff was friendly and helpful and the coffee was great. For lunch, we went to Lisbon Time Out Market. We like food court type places for the variety that they offer. I was happy to discover that they had soup, something you don't often see in restaurants. with a walk alongside the coast, then the narrow streets and stumble upon a craft beer bar with a wild selection of both Portuguese and international craft beer. The variety of beers they had on tap was excellent and they even had great variety of bottled beers. Tucked away in the shade, this was the perfect resting spot before dinner. For dinner, we walked to a place we spotted the night before. A Mexican restaurant with fresh tacos and live music. I complemented my meal with a delicious mango colada. After dinner, we went back to Praia de Comercio, a spacious square right by the ocean, for a few after-dinner drinks. And I had the rose sangria and relaxed after a long day. To finish the tour, I will show you where we stayed. I enjoyed how modern the Hilton Double Tree in Lisbon was, the prices were reasonable, and it was conveniently located within walking distance from the city center. And of course, the fresh Double Tree cookie is a bonus. Oh, 
futuristic there's nothing up it's on the floor. I hope you found these trips useful and that you'll embark on your own Portuguese adventure soon. Safe travels!